Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. <laughs> Welcome to our Matibay class. Ayan. Kala ko science na. <laughs> okay, ano okay. module na tayo dito? STEM 002. Ayun. And let's now move on on our module 16. And it's all about illustrating implicit differentiation. Wow, favorite ba ko yan. Bakit smooth? Kasi, kasi madali. Super dali, oh, yan, no? Kasi super dali. And akala nyo lang mahirap siya mamaya, pero super duper dali. To give dali. you a background on wow. the particular topic, kung noon ma'am, x variable lang ang kinukuha natin ang derivative. derivative yes. Ngayon, kukunin na natin ang derivative ng y yes. variable. X and y na. Oo. At in every y variable, kukunin mong derivative, kukunin mo ang Meron siyang kakambal na, na y prime. Y prime. Oh, mamaya yan, makikita nila. And for this topic, we have objective, isa lang. Apply the differentiation rules, rules in computing the, the derivatives of, of implicit. implicit. Take note, ma'am, na hindi na naman natin susundan ang nasa uh -oh. ang Meron implicit. tayong uh, mas shortcut uh, way. Easier way, yan. Implicit or y is equal to some functions of x. When we know x, we can calculate y directly. Yan. Implicit is some function of y and x equals something else. Knowing x does not does not lead directly to y, differentiating implicit functions is like differentiating explicit, explicit functions, functions except that, that y, y prime is written after the variable y is, is differentiated. Yan yung sinasabi natin, ma'am, na every time na i-derive nila o kukunin nila yung derivatives ng y, may kakambal siyang y, y prime. prime. Or ang okay. y prime natin ay ito po, y and then apostrophe. Binabasa siya as y prime. Okay. And because of that, let's have this one. Ayan. Implicit, eh, sorry, explicit form, we have y is equal to square root of r squared minus x squared. And when we talk on implicit form, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Yes. Tinanggal lang ka niyang square root. Sa explicit form? Sa explicit form, meron siyang radical. Express, y is oh. expressed as a function of x, y in implicit form. The function is expressed in terms of both y, y and, and x. At dito tayo mag-concentrate. Okay? Ayun. And because of that, let's proceed with, with our, our examples. examples! Okay, let's have our first example. Excited na ako, kaya nandito na tayo mga anak. x cubed plus xy plus 4 is equal to 0. Take note, sabi nga ni Ma'am Tintin, Papasok na ang tinatawag nating implicit differentiation kapag dalawang variables na ang ating dinederive. If you take a look on our example number one, meron na tayong xy. Yeah. Okay, so wag pa rin natin kalilimutan dito ang ating mga natutunan when it comes to derive, derivation. Yes, okay? differentiation. So let's now start. Kung meron tayong constant mga anak, let's transpose it first on the right side. So magiging x cubed plus xy is equal to negative 4. Four. Are we clear? Yes. Let's now derive. What is the derivative of x cubed? The derivative is? 3x squared. 3x is squared. Okay. Plus, take note that xy is an example of a product. Eh, tama ma'am? Yes. Kaya kapag babasahin mo yung xy, magiging x times y yan. Apo. So let's apply our technique in deriving product which is FDS, FDS plus SDF. Okay? FDS first is x, isn't it? Yes. Times the derivative of y which is? 1. 1. Take note that every time na magdi-derivative ka ng y, Okay, magmumultiply ka ng y prime. Yun Are we clear, ma'am? Yung rule yes. lang implicit. Uulitin ko mga anak. Every time na nag-derive ka ng y, magmumultiply ka rin ng y prime. Dahil yun po ang ating rule. Since dinerive natin yung y, sabi nyo kanina, 1. Okay, magmumultiply rin tayo ng y prime. Y prime. Nakakasunod, ma'am, tintin? Yes. Is equal to... What is the derivative of negative 4? Ay, ano plus. Ay, plus pa pala, sorry na. <laughs> na plus sa... second, which is yeah, y. y. Oh, sir, y. Ba't dito tayo mag magta-times ng y prime? Hindi naman tayo Take note, derive. hindi natin dinirive ang y dito. Okay? Plus y times the derivative of x, which is 1, is equal to 0. zero. Nakakasunod? Yes, po. Let's simplify. We have now 3x squared plus 
x times 1 times y prime is equal to x y prime, y prime plus y is equal to 0. Kapag nasimplify na natin, iiwan natin lahat ng may y prime sa left side of the equation at lahat ng natitira doon sa right side. At dahil ito po ang may y prime, we have the x y prime is equal to, from positive it will become negative 3x squared. From positive it will become negative, negative y. y. Nakakasunod? Yes. Since y prime lang ang ating kailangan, let's divide both sides by x. Cancel yan. This is y prime is equal to negative 3x squared minus y all over x. This is our final, final answer. answer. Ang saya. Sa mathematics kasi, ma'am, mm, ano tawag doon? mag enjoy ka kapag pinapawisan ka ng susol. Uh -huh. Mabuboring ka na kapag sobrang dali. Second example, ang dali. <laughs> Grabe naman. <laughs> mahirap naman ang example mo. Ba't pag ako mahirap? <laughs> Lutong Macau. We have x <laughs> times y is equal to 4. Ayan. Gaya ng sinabi ni Sir kanina, magkatabi yan. Ibig sabihin, product. gagamitan natin siya ng product. So, we have, this is our first and this is our second. First, derivative ng second. Copy ang first. Derivative ng second is? 1. 1. So, we have? Oh, why yung derivative mo, ma'am? So, uh, gurea. Ay, gurea. <laughs> We have 1. Since nag-derive ka ng y, magmumultiply ka ng y prime. Plus, second is y. Second, Again, kinopya mo lang siya, kaya hindi ka maglalagay ng y prime. Second, derivative ng first is 1. Um, is equal to, derivative ng ano? Derivative ng 4. Mirap! <laughs> zero. We have 0. Next, simplify. We have x, y prime, plus y is equal to 0. Sabi ni Sir kanina, lahat ng y prime may iiwan sa left side, the rest pupunta sa right side. So, we have x, y prime is equal to from positive, pag transpose mo siya, it will become negative y. Since si y, prime, y prime lang ang kailangan natin, divide both sides by x. Ang hirap. At pag kinansel mo yan, ang naiwan ay si y prime. Therefore, y prime is equal to negative y all over Ma'am, niloloko mo kami sa answer key. Nakalagay negative x all over y. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gaya ng sinabi ni Sir kanina, i-replay nyo na lang. <laughs> Tao lang din may gawa. Siguro nalito siya dahil ang dami-daming x and y. But this is the correct answer. Yes. Mas naniniwala ako dyan na sagot. Okay. Let's proceed agad-agad sa ating second example or third example. x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Okay. What is the derivative of x squared? We have... 2x. 2x. Plus, derivative of 2y, oh, or y squared is 2y. Nag-derive ba tayo ng y, ma'am? Yes. yes. So, magmumultiply tayo ng y prime is equal to 0. zero. Okay? Iiwan lang. Ay, simplify muna. 2x plus 2y times y prime will become 2y. Y prime is equal to 0. Lahat ng may y prime, iiwan lang. We have 2y. Y prime is equal to, from positive 2x, will become negative 2x. Then divide both sides by 2y. 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 Pak. Ala. Ala. Ang harsh-harsh mo talaga. Y prime is equal to negative 2x all over 2y. Since pareho sila ng 2, cancel. Ang natira is y prime is equal to negative x all over y. Ayan. Oo. Excited yung gumawa ng module. Ang akala niya, number 3 yung sunusolve niya kanina. Nagamit mo na naman yung space ko for number 4 talaga. Fourth example, x squared plus 2y squared minus 4. My, uh, my whole, my whole, my whole number dyan, <laughs> ito transpose mo muna siya sa kabila. Ayan, so we have x squared plus 2y squared is equal to negative, it will become positive 4. Next, derive, deri uh, derivative of x squared is 2x, 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4y. Nag-derive ka ng y, kaya magkakaroon ka ng y squared. Ay, y no, sorry, prime. ng y prime is equal to 0. Next, may iiwan si y prime. Is equal to, transpose mo ulit, negative 2x. Divide both sides by 4y. Cancelled, cancelled, y prime is equal to negative 2x all over 4y. Since they are both divisible by 2, i-divide natin sila. 2 divided by 2 is? Negative 2. Negative x x na lang nasa taas at ang nasa baba ay 2y. Final answer. Okay, let's have example number 5. Shopee ba yun? <laughs> x squared plus 3xy is equal to 4. Derivative of x squared is 2x plus 
Derivative of 3xy. Fraction. Hindi siya fraction, ma'am. Product siya. Okay? FDF I'm sorry, product, product. and SDF. SDF. Ito po ang ating first. Yung y po ang ating second. FDS, 3x. Okay? Times the derivative of y. Y one prime. Ya, y prime. Tama po. Plus. Okay? Second. Second is y. Hindi po, siya, hindi po natin siya derivative. Kinopya lang natin kaya hindi po tayo magmultiply ng y prime. Y prime. And, and derivative of 3x is 3. Tama yes. ma'am? Is equal to 0. Let's simplify. We have 2x plus 3x times y prime will become 3x, 3x y, prime. y prime. Plus 3y is equal to 0. Iiwan natin ang may y prime. Is equal to, from positive, it will become negative 2x. From positive, it will become negative 3y. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, let's divide both sides by? 3x. 3x. X. 3x. Okay. Cancelled. Cancelled. Ang natira y prime is equal to negative 2x minus 3y all over 3 X. Sa answer key, sinimplify niya, pero pwede naman nang hindi. Ilalabas lang po natin si negative, pero okay lang na ito ha. Tatanggapin Mangin, okay na natin na yan. Pero kung maarte sila, gusto nilang ilabas yung negative, pwede naman. Ilalabas si negative, magiging 2x, magiging yes. positive 3y, all over 3x. Okay? Pwede ito ang sagot, pwede rin naman na ito ang sagot. <laughs> Ay, Ay naka-play na pala. Week, Last example, x cubed plus 4x plus y squared minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Oh, Mahaba lang siya, pero pare-parehas <laughs> oh, lang kasi wala naman product. Wala naman product, wala, wala naman quotient. quotient. Oh, oh. So, let's proceed. We have 3x squared plus 4 plus 2y. Nag-derive ka ng y, kaya magmultiply ka ng y prime. Minus 3. Derivative ng 3y is negative 3. Tama? At nag-derive ka ng y, mag-multiply ka ulit ng y prime. Is equal to, sorry, nakalimutan natin kanina. Dapat pala ilalagay natin yan sa kabila. So, we have 0 na, zero na sa kabila. Next, iiwan na natin lahat ng merong y prime. So, we have 2y y prime minus 3y prime is equal to negative 3x squared minus 4. Tama po? Apo. Next, ang kailangan lang natin ay si y prime. So, ilalabas natin si y prime. Ang naiwan sa loob ay, tinanggal natin yung y prime. Anong naiwan? 2y. We have 2y. Tinanggal natin three. yung y prime. Anong naiwan? We have negative 3. Negative 3. Is equal to negative 3x squared minus 4. Divide both sides by, para makancel yan, 2y minus 3. 2y minus 3. Cancelled, cancelled. y prime is equal to negative 3x squared minus 4 all over 2y minus 3. Ayan. Parehas ba sa nasa TG? Yes po. No, hindi sila parehas. Dito na ba yung negative? Dito ang nakalagay is 2x lang. Dapat ang sagot natin dyan is 3x. 3x squared. Gaya ng sinabi ni Sir kanina, tatanggapin na namin yan kung medyo, pero kung medyo OC ka at gusto mong ilabas yung negative sign, pwede rin namang mm -hmm. y is equal ma'am kasi, bakit tayo nagla naglalabas? Kasi may mga time ma'am na mas maganda kasi ng ating first term ay positive. positive. Ayan. Oo. So ilalabas mo yung negative, maiiwan sa loob ay si... 3x. 3x squared minus, plus sorry, plus. plus 4 all over 2y minus 3. Pero so, tatanggapin na natin. Final ito. answer. So, tama ito. Pag yan ang nilagay mo, tama rin yan. Pag yan ang nilagay mo. Okay, that's all for today, mga ka STEM 002 students. Okay, malapit-lapit na tayo mga anak. May, parang medyo mahirap lang pero kung makikinig ng mabuti sa explanation namin ng mga Tintin. Kung ulit ulitin yung Super video. dali lang po. Okay, good day everyone. Mag-ingat ang lahat. Lagi niyong tatandaan. Ang ating hashtag, dahil totoo naman, tayong lahat ay hashtag matibay. matibay. Good day.